try to keep that on there. I'm trying to hold still. I tend to wander when I speak. So uh, appreciate the opportunity to come and present uh, to you guys this evening. So uh, just by way of background, I'm a marriage and family therapist. I've uh, been in practice uh, for about five years here um, and, and worked in a couple different uh, uh, emergency rooms and different things like that. Um, and over that time that I've worked in the emergency room, in the time working with families and parents and children, um, I've come up with a few themes that seem to be um, relevant and, and I try to come up with some ideas that are empowering to uh, parents that come to see me, to kids that come to see me. Um, in, in the world that we're in right now, there seems to be a lot of pressure to figure things out now and to get them right the first time. Um, one of the concepts that, that I've uh, kind of come up with, I like to make it kind of catchy uh, so that parents, children, uh, families can go home with, with the concept that, that makes sense, that rings true to them. The idea or the concept there is megapixel parenting, um, which I think is a real forgiving idea. And it, it's, uh, it's empowering from the sense of as we look at our children and we wonder, do they get it? Do they get us? Right? Anybody ever feel that way? Do we get? Do we? Do our children get us? Do we have some type of impact on them? Um, and as our children look at us, same question. Okay. So what I find is there's kind of two types of um, angles that parents take uh, when they come into my office. Number one, I have parents that come in. They don't understand what's wrong with the family. They don't understand what's wrong with their child. They, they believe that there's a few major events or things that they need to be devoted to. And those are the things that best illustrate to their children that they love them, that they're there for them. I was at your baseball games. I was at your basketball games. I paid for your cheerleading, what have you. Okay. Um, the other folks that tend to come in, I call my doubters or my worriers. Okay, will they ever see what I've done? Okay, these are the parents that work night and day, they slave, they can't sleep at night because their kids don't get that they love them, that they care for them, so they're coming up with amazing ways to bend over backwards to try to make things work. Okay, they become uh, kind of um, captive in their own home, so to speak, trying to make sure that the, the children uh, see that they're there for them, that they understand that they care. Okay. So if we look at, as we look at this mindset and compare it to pixels, like in a picture, you know, we're in a day and age where we're talking about high def, we're talking about 3D, we're talking about um, uh, 10, uh, 1080 DPI, so on and so forth. What we have is we, we tend to hope that a few pixels, baseball games, um, cheerleading, those types of things, a few pixels will go a long ways. So if you imagine some of these older pictures that even have hundreds of pixels, but just how boring or how bland or how non-defined they are, okay, what kind of picture are we painting? Okay, what kind of image are we providing? The idea of a megapixel uh, approach to parenting is that we can sit back and relax knowing okay, that every mistake that we make uh, just adds to the contrast. It's just another little pixel among millions of pixels. Our children, uh, our spouses, okay, uh, people are generally forgiving if we allow them to see or if we remind ourselves that we're making a bigger picture, okay? So if we take a look at a megapixel or a dot on an image, one a regrettable incident, something that we wish we could take back, Okay, if we picture that as maybe a black dot, okay, something that we wish we could take back, okay, well, let's take that megapixel and compare it to, or, or allow it to be part of a contour line, okay? In other words, without that black megapixel or those regrettable megapixels, okay, we're not defining, we don't have anything for our children to compare to, okay? So the idea is we can, I guess I can say, we can make millions of mistakes as long as we're working on making better experiences. Hey, we weren't there for this particular incident, but look at all the other opportunities we have to be there, okay? 
So the idea as I work with couples is they start to see that they actually kind of delight in it a little bit and say, okay, so all my mistakes are just making a better picture. Yeah, okay. Now, they're adding to that picture, and of course we want to, we want to look at, at it as an empowering opportunity, right, to say, okay, what else could, would I like to add to this picture? So if each megapixel represents a, um, an experience, a moment, okay, we can start to decide, okay, look, I can add in, I can adjust, I can make changes, and they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to take place now. They don't have to take place overnight. But as I add all these little pixels, the overall picture that they're going to see, what is it going to be? Are they going to get it? Are they going to see a picture of me and my spouse together? Are they going to see a picture of us being there as, as uh, caregivers, as listeners? Okay. And we're just talking about a single frame right now. We're not talking about 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second. Okay, so it's a relatively simple idea, the megapixel parenting, okay, megapixel relationships, relatively simple idea, but it opens up the idea, the, the, the notion that we can do so much more than one single incident, uh, pardon me, one single incident doesn't make us rise or fall as a parent. A set of incidents doesn't make us rise or fall as parents, okay we have the opportunity to go in and adjust that picture um, and, and really uh, provide an opportunity for, for our kids to see that we can adjust and allow them to see that there's more to what their choices are as well. Not one choice of their own is gonna set the standard for what people see of them as well. Um, that's pretty much the concept. It works pretty well in counseling. I, I see a lot of Parents um, sigh with relief. I see a lot of kids roll their eyes because that means they have to look at things a little bit differently. Okay, they don't get to look at their parents as as uh, the big uh, as my daughters would say meters. Okay, they have to take the look. They have the opportunity to sit back and look at things a little bit differently. What that does is it allows us to take a look at it and say, okay, what image would you like your children to have of your relationship? towards your spouse, towards each other, and what kind of things do we want to add? What would that look like? And it gives a great structure uh, in a guided setting like counseling, but hopefully as you think about your personal relationships with others, uh, with your spouse, with children, and so forth in the home, hopefully just with that concept you can go back and say, okay, what pixels would I add here to adjust that overall image rather than it being a concrete idea that cannot change. And uh, that's it. That's all I have to present. All right.